Hi everyone, today we have a new video review and this time it will be something interesting because it's the first time we actually check the Airfix kit on our YouTube channel and also on our website and well I decided to start with a new tool to release as you can see it's a Ferret a Scout Car Mark II in 135 scale it should be quite an interesting thing to assemble and again considering that I do not have any experience with Airfix kits whatsoever so it will be also interesting to see what is inside and why it will be a good choice for maneuvers who would like to assemble the military wheeled vehicle. So of course this is the uh, let's say the final shape of this kit it was purchased with your help with your donation so I would like to say a big thank you for this and as you can see the box size is not that huge uh, actually so we have it more of the wide format uh, we have also nice box art and here is comparison with my hand also the kit number is written here I guess it's a a1379 and well that's pretty much all I don't see any list of the features or anything else maybe it will be on the side no here we have some safety devices and also we have the uh, ad for the seller where I purchased it and here you can see also three marking options which are included into this kit I hope there will be more but well three is also okay for 135 scale kit so as you can see box is sealed so I'm going to cut through it and then we will take a closer look together in the meantime i can also remind you that we reviewed a lot of wheeled vehicles from other brands in 135 scale of course so in case you would like to check them just type the scale in the search on our channel and you will find a lot of interesting subjects so it's a top opening box and here's what we have inside as you can see plastic parts are molded out of green plastic and they are sealed into one plastic bag and then on the bottom I guess we have the assembly manual again I'm not that familiar with the airfix kits so that's why it will be a small discovery for me as well so I'm going to cut through this uh, sealed plastic bag and we will take a closer look together I'm not sure why <laughs> <laughs> the green plastic was chosen for this part. Some modellers actually say that it's useful when you have the uh, primer not that uh, nicely attaching to the surface. Then if it falls off or paint falls, chips off, then it will be visible that it's still like green colored plastic. Maybe that's the reason. Uh, some modellers also say that it's just for children who don't want to pay the paint the models. So here we have the first green plastic sprue. I will zoom out a bit. And here you can see that we have the plastic wheels. That's of course a good feature because such thing will look a bit more convincing on your car. Next we continue with some suspension parts and also some of the uh, suspension arms here. So I guess uh, each of the sides should be assembled out of two uh, levers and maybe I will zoom in so that you can see what I am talking about here. So overall quality seems to be nice. I do not see any possible issues. Even though here for example on the tires you can see that there are no tire uh, details promoted on the tire walls even though they could have been promoted. I know that some brands actually doing it and we saw it in the recent uh, mini art kit even. And if I flip it over here, you can see that each wheel should be glued out of two house. We have large position elements, but I don't think it will be a difficult task to assemble them. What will be a bit tricky is to actually get the smooth surface, smooth connection between them so that they look like a real thing. Of course, if you have a chance to get some 3D printed replacement or maybe resin replacement, that's definitely a good choice to pick. Next we continue with some interior parts. So this is something I was not sure about but it looks like we get some of the interior parts, at least steering wheel is here and also some of the radio equipment. And that's really cool, it means uh, that some of the doors should be openable or maybe some of the hatches will be openable, we will see. And I can also zoom in so that you can see those parts in a bit closer way. So we have also some promoted features on this equipment. So it's also quite nice. And if you flip it over, again, quite large guiding elements. So it will be really <laughs> difficult to miss the right point. And for some others, it's actually good because it simplifies the assembly process. Not everyone has the good, let's say, fingers. And that's why such design comes in handy. I'm just looking at the how parts. Like here is the sprue. So here, as you can see, the whole 
Um, car body is separated into several panels. We have also separate hatches as far as I can guess because we have these openings. I'm not sure if we actually get the engine included here. I do not see it on the next spruce. So maybe this will be used for the driver compartment, maybe. And also you can see these large guiding tabs. They will be handy because of the angular design of this vehicle. So maybe I will zoom in so that you can see these parts in again zoomed view. But again, the molding quality, as you can see, is clean and crisp, so all parts look um, really decent. And also, I do not see any molding damage on them, so it's just a matter of carefully assembling all of these parts together. I guess this is the floor panel, because here we have some of the guiding pins or guiding tabs for the interior parts, which will also help you to position all these seats and equipment uh, all together. Next we continue with parts for the turret, so here you can see that machine gun is molded as a single piece part and well overall it looks fine, if I zoom in you can see what I'm talking about but of course this cooling jacket can be replaced with some metal and um, of course metal part will be a bit more convincing because all those holes will be actually throughout and here we continue with the uh, separate parts for the turret. These are also like separate panels which should be combined together. It's not a difficult task, but still I would recommend to pay attention to the fitment of these parts. And here you can check it from the opposite side. So again, we have some guiding tabs, but I guess the turret will actually not get any uh, interior parts in comparison with what we saw in the main hull. I'm just looking at the moment at the last sprue, it's a sprue D. So here we get more parts for the car body or main hull, if we can put it this way. We also get the jerry cans here and they are molded together with the uh, clamps. So I guess uh, some aftermarket uh, releases, uh, PE parts, they will be actually targeting this area. And a lot of minor elements for the towing hooks and other elements which are placed on the hull. So overall it looks fine, so if I zoom in here for these tiny parts, and here is comparison with my fingertip by the way, so these are really small parts and yet they are molded nicely out of the box. And the same can be said about these uh, bigger elements which will be used also throughout the vehicle. And of course these external panels, as you can see, we have some pre-molded details. And if I flip it over, here inside we have some guiding tabs. But that's pretty much all you get, so do not hope for some extensive interior features out of the box. That's not the kit where you will get it. Next, I will open the sealed plastic bag with the clear frame. So here we have the lenses for the headlamps and tail lights. And I will show them in a second. Okay. That's a sprue G, and I will zoom in so that you can see those parts closer. So overall, those clear parts look decent. And as you can see, out of the box you get uh, nicely molded and shaped parts. These lenses are quite convincing, but I guess there are no masks included. So in case you would like to get the nice paint finish, you'll have to get your own masks. Because here, well, you'll have to spend some time trying to cover those parts. Next, we continue with the decal sheet. It was hidden in the assembly manual. I don't see any mention where these decals come from, but as you can see, printing quality is quite okay. And I hope there will be easy to apply on the vehicle. So here we have, as you remember, uh, necessary symbols for three markings. But as I said, I hope we will get more. If not, well, three markings are also quite fine. And of course, nobody stops you from getting some aftermarket decals for a uh, slightly different marking on your vehicle. So here we continue with the assembly manual. As you can see, it's a large color printed brochure. It's quite heavy actually because of the thick paper. Here we start assembly process right away from the floor panel. So as you can see, the uh, driver compartment is actually nicely detailed out of the box. We get the various equipment. We also get the top panel here with the separate hatches. As far as you can see, these hatches are not shown as openable. And I can see that there is the option suggested. No, actually here as well. So it's written that uh, there are separate steps which explain you the open hatches. 
this is quite interesting approach to the assembly manual. So I guess this whole assembly sequence is showing you the vehicle with the close sketches. And as you can see, the uh, parts are shown as a 3D images. So some modelers actually like such design, some modelers prefer the uh, plane design, so it's up to your personal preference. And here we continue with wheels installation on the vehicle. And next, what is next here? And these are the exhaust parts as far as you can see as well as the antennas, which will depend on the marking you will pick. Here we have also some suggestions on how to assemble the turret. So as I say, there are not that many interior parts, so do not hope to expose something inside, but I guess maybe some of the hatches can be opened. And if you have the suitable figurine, you can actually use it here. And here we have the uh, all possible assembly options for the vehicle. So as you can see, a lot of hatches are actually openable, so it might come handy for some diorama ideas, because it's a 135 scale vehicle after all. And here we have two marking options. So this one is coming from West Germany, and another one is from Canada. And here we have another one from Cyprus. White color might be an interesting choice to replicate, because as you can see, the lower part of the vehicle is still green. So, overall we get quite an interesting release from Airfix and wheeled vehicles, uh, well, for me they're quite, I would say, a special topic to assemble because you get a bit more freedom with the wheels, dirt and weathering, but of course it's a matter of personal preference, I would be happy to hear your opinion of course, write it here in the comment section below. And if you like this video of course press the like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel and I will see you in the next video review as usual, thank you for joining me today and Bye.